Is my breathing really loud? And we're live. So, Steven. Um, yeah. You can try to introduce yourself a little bit. I mean, what, what do you want me to say? Hi? <laughs> yeah, like, how old you are, and like... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Why are we so awkward? <laughs> because we've never done this before. This is our first okay. one. Let's chill. Okay, okay, okay. Let's... Hi. Um... I'm Steven, I am 22, and uh... And you just graduated college, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fun employed, that's what I like fun to Fun employed, so anyways, um, what, basically what, uh, I don't know man, how are you, um, looking for that job search? I'm not. Really? Uh, that sounds really bad. Um... But, okay, I, so I, if you're not, well, uh, what you up to? I think... I think... With the current circumstances of the world, it's it's kind of okay, you know, not to look for a job. No, I mean, uh, I feel you. But um, I guess the side hustle I'm trying to do is, uh, I guess, this podcast. <laughs> podcast, and you like, you're about to get into streaming too, right? Um, Don't I'm worry not, about the plugs. <laughs> I'm not too sure yet, but... I think I am on the track of starting. Um, still trying to get my mental game, you know? Yeah, I feel you. But, yeah, okay, so, I mean, anyways, dude, um, yeah, um, shit, this is stupid. <laughs> why does it, why does it <laughs> feel like an interview, dude? I don't know. You should just be talking anyways, dude. What, what were we talking about Stupid. for? Just, this is, um, it's okay. I'm going to just keep this shit raw. <laughs> but anyways, you were talking... Dude, it's been so long. Actually, I don't think I've seen you in like, what? Like, almost dude, gonna lie. a dude, year? I, you could have hate me for this. What? <laughs> but... I like, like low-key. <laughs> when I saw you at school, kind of, I kind of purposely didn't, like, say hi. Why? Because, <laughs> I don't know. Because you're an asshole. No, 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 no. It's... I'm just kidding. No, I, no, I understand. Like, you have that, like, weird, it's like, should I say hi or should I not say hi? Yeah. Or, or, or. Are you the other side where you're just like, I don't want to talk to you? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know why. I feel like I should have said hi, but like. No, I feel it. I think like that's what college, right? Sometimes like you see people, you're just like, shit, I got to go the other way now. <laughs> yeah. I saw Andy one time and I was just like, uh, I'm going to go into the restroom now. Yeah. Not going to lie because sometimes you just don't want to deal with people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, we I think you were talking about how in 2006 all of the all of the films and stuff were just really cringe, specifically high school musical, right? Yeah. I mean like like <laughs> <Sorry>. like <laughs> What is so? <laughs> oh no! This is one of our laughing fits again. Oh, oh, yeah, spam. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> you just gonna um, say um no. twenty times in a row? <laughs> no, cause uh. <laughs> So I'm in like a, I'm in like a Discord call with a bunch of people, and we're watching High School Musical 2, right? Or not High School Musical 2, High School Musical. Uh huh. <laughs> so we have all of our mics muted, right? Yep. <laughs> then one of them, I guess, um, I guess one of them didn't have their mic muted, <laughs> and so you just hear him talking. <laughs> Well, everybody signed up the movies play. <laughs> Is that you? No, it's, it's one of my friends. And then... 
<laughs> I guess he realized it. Mm -hmm. So he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 and it just, it just caught me off guard. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm like crying. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. But anyways, um, sorry. I think. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, re re reel it back in, bro. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> anyways, um, so. Yeah, earlier we were talking about food. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. And like how you were saying Korean barbecue just sucks. I'm sure you like anyone who's listening probably you've basically pissed off a couple of people. Plus the only people that probably aren't mad at you are probably like the vegetarians and vegans. I didn't say it sucked, did I? No, but you said it wasn't the best. I just said it depends on what you get. And you said um you don't like Kobe. If any for anyone that's uh the short I... ribs. It's it's not that I don't like it. It's just like if I go to a current barbecue place, it's not like something I would want, you know. So like, it, so if you went to a Korean barbecue place, then, then what would like be like three things that you would get for sure? Um. So. God damn it! I had this tab open too about fucking Korean barbecue. Okay, not about like fucking Korean barbecue, but like Korean fuck. I mean, Co Korean fuck. <laughs> That's nice. No, no. Um. <laughs> and by the way, we're both like park, at least part Korean. Okay, he's Korean. I'm like half. Yeah. Um, I I would always get the so the the OG samgyeopsal, which is what is that one? Pork belly. Pork belly. Yeah. Um, and then my main one would be hanjongsal, which is pork jowl, which is basically like. It's the front part of a pig's neck. Yeah, it's like that part's like hecka tender, right? Like hella yeah, tender. It's so good. And so like it's it's just that's like that's my two go to things. Um and I guess if the third one I don't know, Shadow Baby. What the hell Shadow Baby? It's um So you know Chador Baby? <laughs> Yeah, you you better explain that, bro. Because so, <laughs> so, like it sounds so bad when you're like, yeah, shadow baby. So shadow and then baby. everyone's like, you're gonna eat a so baby? It's, it's, what the so, hell? <laughs> so so brisket, right? It's chador baby. Mm -hmm. So my friend David, he's like Korean, but he he was raised in, I guess his parents are like Russian, like raised in Russia. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. he doesn't speak Korean at all, and so he would call it shadow baby because like, that's that's how he can butcher it wait wait i thought he was like is he korean or is he's he full korean but he was like he's I like he was he's russian korean right essentially yeah because like i have another friend his name's aaron he um he he's like russian but from mm -hmm. the area where everyone is asian in russia <laughs> yeah because like yeah okay I, I get it kind of so yeah, I mean, that's kind of... Uh, I don't know. Like, for me, I feel like Kalbi is, like... So, like, you definitely wouldn't get Kalbi if you had to get three things. Yeah, it would probably be... Pork belly, the pork jowl, and... Shadow baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, um... So for the pork belly, you know how they have different types? They have, like, regular uh, pork belly. Then they have, like, that marinated one. Do you ever get yeah. the marinated one? Uh, it's, okay. That, see, that's the type of stuff that, like, is, like, I feel like it's such a gimmick. Because, like, you know what? Jen? Jen yeah. from Barbecue? They, yeah, have like... this, they have this one where it's, like. Like, I know what you, like, Jen in, like, San Jose, right? Yeah, it's like it's called red wine samgyeopsal. So oh it's yeah, pork yeah, yeah. belly marinated in red wine. Like that's a sketch. Gross. Kind of sketch. Like, like what are you trying to do? You know. I think they're trying to tenderize it, right? That's the thought process. No, it's just to add the flavor of. You think? Yeah, I mean, I tried it. Also, Jen's just not a good like if you. If you guys want to go to a current barbecue place, 
I don't highly, go. Don't I go highly, again. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I don't recommend Gen just because it's just like uh, think of it as like what's like a whitewashed like food place that's trying to be like like I don't think that's even politically correct, bro. You can't say whitewashed. <laughs> It's more like American style, right? It's like, I think like what they're trying to do with that red wine thing is kind of fuse flavors together, right? You know, like you heard of Comex and stuff? Comex as in like Mexican and like Korean food? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That didn't seem like a really like. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, I'd agree. Like, if someone were to eat Korean barbecue, I would not recommend Gen. Even though they have like five, like, have you seen their like reviews on like Yelp? That stuff's like maxed out. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what's some good Korean places to get food in LA? Cause you live in LA, right? Um, anywhere in K Town. Anywhere in K Town. <laughs> you just see a Korean barbecue place that's near a bunch of Korean buildings. Like, chances are it's it's I. <laughs> it's I. <laughs> um, I, th I I know a lot of people go to like, uh. Taekjung, which is like a current barbecue place. Um, that place is, I think, a solid place. Mm. Um, I will say this, but NorCal is pretty shitty current barbecue places. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, because I live in the Bay Area, and the Korean, oh. the Korean community in Northern California isn't that big compared to Southern California, yeah. for sure. I mean, you get some, like, you get pop-up ones that are pretty good, but, like, overall, it's just pretty crappy. Oh, I know what I would get. For, instead of, instead at a of, Korean barbecue? Yeah, instead of Shadow Baby. <laughs> what, what's that? I would get Kolchan. Explain for everyone. Intestines. Okay, that sounds really bad. Um... Kopchang is, is is literally the small intestines of a of a cow. Yeah, it's like so if like any of is that anyone's eating like pho, it's like tripe basically. Is that what tripe is? Yeah, tripe is basically the well, I think tripe is stomach lining or intestinal lining, one of the two. But like um definitely it's like similar. Uh, it's from some type of inner organ. Yeah, anyways. Kopchang. But you need to know the places that serve your kopchang. Because in San Jose, we went to one. A couple of my friends and I went to it. And... Um, <laughs> Not good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... it's. God. Did y'all get sick or something? Um, I mean, we had a group of people that were sick. So we had a sick car and a non-sick car. <laughs> this wasn't recently, right? Uh, this was like... Is this pre-COVID? A little after my birthday. Yeah, so like er, end of January. Okay, so that's technically still pre-COVID. Yeah. Okay, but I also think I had COVID in January. Like, if I'm low being a little... Yeah, low-key me too. Because like, like, my uncle came back from Japan in around like late January, early February-ish. Uh-huh. And, like, my dad was already sick at that time with the flu. It was just the flu, right? Yeah. And then when he came home, my uncle was, like, hacking, like, crazy. Then my dad got sick again. And, like, you know how they say, like, you can't get, like, if you get the flu, you can't get the flu right afterwards because, you know, your body's immune to it? Yeah. So, like, it's completely different virus. And then he, like, lost his smell and taste and stuff. And oh, then... Yeah. My entire house got sick after that because my uncle literally just spreads like <laughs> disease <laughs> whenever he comes over. So like, why did you? Th what were the? What were your symptoms? <clears throat> um. Uh, I was just sick. Like, <laughs> I've I've never been that sick. Like, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being, like, you're ready to, like, it die. It was, like, a 9. Really? Like, I've never been that sick in my life. Was it hard for you to breathe and stuff? No, but I had, I thought I had strep throat, so I got a strep test. 
Negative? Yeah, my throw hurt a lot. Um, and I just remember... I Okay, this was before COVID hit. So I, um, I just remember I went to... The st I was at work at school. And there, we have this thing where like if you miss hours, you have to make it up at the end of the quarter. Or like finals week. But I'm just like, eh, F that, dude. I'm going to go home early for spring break. Um, this was before like COVID hit and mm -hmm. everything. And I was like an hour in and I'm just like, you, like if people saw me, like I was just dying. I was like, <laughs> a student would come in and I'd be like, hi. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> help you with. So you were, so you're basically a super spreader. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like dying. <laughs> and, but I was like, and by that time, I was, like, trying really hard to fight it. So I take, like, day cool at the day and night cool at night. Um, oh, dang. You doubled that. You're, like, night cool at night and day cool in the day. Yeah. And so this is where it gets good. It's, like, I'm just, like, okay. Like, I told my supervisor. I was, like, hey, um, I can't do this. I'm going to go to home. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's. And so. Um, I mean. I believe it. I mean, because, you know, they said, like, um, we supposedly had COVID in the states, like, in November, right? Of Can last year. That, sorry? Um, that, like, we had... Supposedly, the virus was in the United States last November. Yeah. I... Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you ever hear the Korean saying? Like, my Harumini told me this. Harumini is grandma. It's like, um... Hold on, wait, what, why do you say it like that? Harmony? Yeah. What? How do I you say it? it? Harmony? Okay. <laughs> it's the same thing, fool. Okay, well, I haven't said that word in a long time, okay? Uh, see, now I feel bad. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's okay, right. well, my Harmony Anyways. told me, is like, um, if you get sick, just drink a crap ton of chige. Chige is like stew, and then, like, you'll be fine. Have you ever heard that before? <laughs> No, but the moment I got into drinking tea, things started to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> like a 180? It's just like... I, I like, felt myself getting better. <laughs> like, instantly. Yeah, and so I remember I went to the office, right? Or, like, the health center. Mm -hmm. And I went, they're like, oh, like, what do you, like... What are your symptoms? Like, what have you been taking? And I'm like, oh, I'm just taking NyQuil and DayQuil, like, every every time I can. Um, and then the, the doctor, the nurse was like, oh, that's, like, really bad. That's, like, really bad. I'm just like... No shit. I'm like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, like, it has acetaminophen in it. And then <laughs> they're like, you can, like, kind of OD on that. And I'm just like, oh, really? And they're like, yeah, because NyQuil has more, like, of that in it. And I'm just like, oh, so what should I, like, what should I have been taking? Like, uh, like, Tylenol? And I'm just... Did you have a fever? I I would have random, like, bursts of it. Like hot flashes? Yeah. You sure you weren't oh. pregnant? I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, and then they just give me Tylenol, honey sticks, and... Yeah, I just took that and I left. Well, <laughs> well, at least we know the school system tries to take care of you, at least. Okay, well, let's close up the f uh, the Korean barbecue thing. So, yeah. if if someone were to go to Korean barbecue, right, first time? Yeah, you should you should. Three get... things. Three things to get. Yeah, so pork belly, the pork jowl, which is also called hanjong sar, and then... I think if you're adventurous, get the get the intestines. Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. But, like, I think for, like, some people, especially, like, people who are not really, like, adventurous, they can also, like, substitute one of the porks for, like, a beef or something like that. Like, for me personally, I kind of like karbi pretty good. But, yeah. Like, but, like, if you're going to get, like, beef, it's either, like, karbi or bulgogi, which is, yeah. like... But, like... As yeah, I mean, because you told me before you thought it was overrated, and, like, 
I understand because like in America, like everyone's like, dude, like when you think of Korean barbecue, the first thing you think of is like, oh, dude, kalbi. That's like the first thing you think yeah, of. Yeah. So if I was an uncultured swine, this is what I would recommend. You should get the bulgogi, the kalbi, and I like the way you said kalbi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so now we got Korean barbecue out of the way. Let's talk about fast food. Like, personally, this is a big thing for me. Because remember, like, when we used to live together, we used to go to fast food. Like, Oh, my dude. We had... That was, I think, my peak fatness. <laughs> peak fatness. Hey, did, we were, like... We ran okay... Well, you ran with Matt and me occasionally. Remember that one time we ran? Every, like... No. no? Oh. You guys ran? Yeah, we ran with you. I ran? Yes. Oh, I did. Remember <gasps> You remember we lived next to that soccer field? I just remember going there like, oh, we did run, we did run. Yeah, now you remember, right? Because yeah, I think we went once. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I remember you got mad at me. Because I was like, Steven, are you tired? He's like, yeah, what do you think? I don't I... run. <laughs> Is that what I said? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, remember like we used to go to like, um, is Denny's considered fast food? Yeah. Yeah, mm. Denny's is. Con- or is it more Denny's. of a diner? I don't know. I mean, Denny's is a diner, but I would consider it fast food. Oh, yeah. So, like, what. Okay, when we're living together, what do you think are, like. Did we go to JB more? Jack in the Box more? Or did we go to Taco Bell more? We went to JB. I remember. I remember more instances of. JB more. Jack in the Box more. Cause I remember one time we got it and then we went to the pier. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> that was with cause... Andy. That was with Andy. Yeah, I was. That was when the, the birds, the the pigeons, or the seagulls were like. Andy was like yelling at them. I remember that. That was that was funny as heck. Um, that's when Andy. Know... That's when Andy was having girl problems too. Yeah. Um, and then the Don't second worry. time I remember is when we went. We were gonna study. We were like, dude, oh. we gotta study, we gotta get food, we gotta get ready, we gotta fill. And then we got food, we came back. I remember I couldn't finish my food, or I did, I forced myself to. And then I think I said I was gonna lay down for a little bit, like, can you wake me up? And then I think you said you were gonna like take a nap too. And then I remember waking up at like 9 or 10. I looked at my phone and I was like, I was like, I called you and I was like, Brandon. We fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. We got no work done. And I think we both just agreed, like, let's not get Jack in the Box, like... That late? <laughs> yeah. That was, like, 1 a.m. I remember that. You're like, dude, we're just gonna go, get food, come back right away, just study all night. Yeah. That crap, this is like, yeah. That crap hits you like a truck. Yeah. I think, I think this transitions us into living together when we lived together uh yeah actually living together was pretty dope yeah like low key not even low key pretty high key i'll be down to like room together again sometime in the future yeah when i'm when i'm full-time streamer yeah (laughs) full-time streamer for sure but um yeah i just remember i think that was my favorite year despite the shitty people that worked there and our freaking weird floor mate, not floor mate, but our neighbor downstairs. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, my. Dude, do you remember? Yeah, I remember that. Was it you that heard it, heard the first time? Yeah. Or... So, okay, so a little bit of context for all the people that are listening. Um, I've never heard people have sex before, like, below or next door or whatever, like, in dorms or anything either. So I'm, like, laying in bed. And I hear like noises, and I thought they were. I thought it was like a bird chirping. <laughs> so, so I thought. So wait, I, Matt told me. Uh, he said you thought it was a dog whining. It was. The, it was a bird or a dog whining. So I was like, who the like who's hurting their dog or something? <laughs> and then I remember I looked out the window and I didn't see anything. And I asked <laughs> you. And I don't think you heard anything, right? No, because I had my. I usually had my headphones on when I was doing like homework or something. Yeah, so I'm like, what's going on? So and then I put my head to the floor. 
and it was a little bit more audible. And I'm just like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I think I was like, Brandon, dude, they're like going at it, like below us, like the room below us. And I remember the moment I said, oh, I think there are people having sex below us. Um, Andy came in. Andy ran into our room. He's like, where? Where? And I remember he put his head on the floor. I remember that. Like, I don't want to put Andy on blast, but, like, Andy was kind of weird. Yeah. It's okay. I, mean, I love. We were I, all weird back then. That's true. It's okay, Andy. I love you. Yeah. And then I remember it was like you you called Matt in. I think I remember this. Cause I wasn't so sure. Like I was like, dude. It's like you were like Matt. Do you hear that? And it's like, I think it's a dog or something, right? And yeah. then Matt and then Matt knew right away. He was just like, no, that is not an animal. <laughs> and we were like, we both were like, what? And he was like, they are being intimate. And I was just like, well, I looked at you, and your face was like, oh. Okay. Yeah, I was I was like stunned. I thought it was funny. I and remember. I remember what? Yeah, I remember yeah. another time they did it. It's like they were doing it harder, I guess, this time, and they were shaking. Do you remember that? They were like shaking the wall. Was it? Yeah. Just re- Maybe you weren't home, but like. Yeah. Oh man. I remember the first time though. I wanted them to stop. <laughs> and so I remember I watched the video where. This happened in a hotel room, and the guy was like acting like he was a dad, and then he did like a higher pitched voice as if he like had a child, and then he made loud slapping noises as if he was like beating his son. Uh huh. So I remember I told you like Brandon, start cussing me out as if we got into a fight, and I'm gonna like slam the floor as if you like punched me, or decked me. <laughs> I remember we did that, and I like fell to the floor, like slammed it. Oh yeah, I remember this. And they and stopped then, for a little bit, right? And I think the, the 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 worst part about it is the moment that happened, like we did that, both of us just stopped talking. We just stopped. <laughs> and we should we just listen instead of going on. I just remember you're like, like you're like Steven, shut the hell up. You're the worst. And then I slammed the floor a couple of times, and then I just stopped. <laughs> I just wrote my head. I'm just like, okay, they stopped. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. I, I Yeah, I distinctly remember that. It was like you slammed my... Because like, I had a loft bed, for context. I had a loft bed and a desk underneath. And then like we were slamming the um, loft bed. And then you had a desk, too. He's like slammed it on the desk and stuff. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that time that um, we tried to prank Andy? Oh, with... That was... And then he got super mad. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. That's when he was working at Chipotle. Yeah. Then, like, we came back and we tried to pretend like someone broke in. Then he just got super mad. Yeah, so that one, that was not our best moment <laughs> as a house. I still feel bad because I remember after Matt, you and I, uh, we were it, like very uncomfortable talking in my, our room. Mm hmm. And. We were like talking crap like low-key and i found out that andy heard everything which makes sense because it's like one person in his room one person you know what i mean yeah and also like our walls were really you know thin. Yeah. there was no insulation yeah and so he told me about it i was like i'm so sorry I mean, we didn't talk that much crap, did we? I just remember uh, I had to calm Matt down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because something Matt about like to throw hands. Yeah. Yeah, because Matt and Andy got into some type of altercation. Yeah. Well, that's a strong word, altercation. But yeah, I just uh, my favorite part of the living together was just uh, remember when we used to like eat dinner together. That was pretty cool. I, yeah. It was usually Mac cooked food, and then we all just ate. Yeah, I never cooked. I did. I think I cooked more when I lived with you guys than I lived with like the other other guys. Yeah, I remember we ate a lot of mac and instant mac and cheese. Yeah, remember that instant mac and cheese and some cell. And steak. 
Yeah. <laughs> had a shit ton of steak. Dude, do you remember when uh Andy was gonna cook that um that tri tip or something like that? Then he was doing it wrong and then Matt freaked out. He was like, No, what are you doing? You don't do that. And I was just like, Bro, calm down. He was like, No, this is a good piece of meat. You are not gonna mess this up. I'm like, Whoa Holy crap. Wait, next day, the year after that, didn't you, um, didn't you have your own room when you lived with everybody else? Say that again? Um, the year after, so, you know, that was, um, that was my junior year, your sophomore year, right? When? When we lived together? Yeah. Didn't you, in your junior year, didn't you have, um, your own room in the other place? Yeah, it was, it was, it was the storage room that turned into a room, and it was right next to the kitchen. <laughs> and, it, and my room had a sliding door that was the only way to the backyard from the house. Uh huh. And so every time people would cook, the food would cut. The smell would always linger in my room. Wouldn't that be like okay if it's good smelling? Yeah, but like, think about it. Like, I mean, yeah, I understand. It's like you don't want everything in your room smelling like crazy crap. Yeah, and then sometimes like people would just randomly come in. I didn't like that. <laughs> How many people did you live with? That year we had eleven. Eleven. Yeah. How many bedrooms? Like four. Four, yeah. Dude, that's crazy. That's a lot of people. Yeah. So. Wow, eleven people. I could imagine living in that. Four people in two bedrooms was kind of tough in the first place. And that was when I didn't have my own car, so I couldn't like leave when I wanted to. Yeah, I remember you always asking me for rides. <laughs> Did I ask you? I don't feel like I didn't ask you a lot. You asked me a lot until one point I was like, I'm not giving you rides every single time. You were like, oh, okay. Wait, that was when we lived together, though. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Talking... Oh, I meant, like, after, like, when oh. I lived in that huge-ass house. No, no, no. When you live in that huge-ass house, we you basically were just driving everywhere. With the van. I didn't have my car then. Yeah, I remember you called me one time. You were like, dude, something happened. I think it was you got a ticket or something like that. For yeah. uh, for running a stop that was, sign. That was that was last year. Oh, I, I remember. Out of the blue, you call me. You're just like, I think I'm in trouble. I'm like, what are you talking about? You're like, I think I got a ticket for running a stop oh, sign. Yeah. So this was I was going. Yeah, this was like last year. Um, this was like everything happened because my car broke down in the middle of nowhere. I was stuck there for like a day, so I had to like go to like a motel six. Um. And then oh, I yeah. came back up. I got a rental car, thankfully. And it was like a new one. It was like a 2020 Kia, right? Nissan Sentra. Oh, okay. No, no, the Kia broke down. Yeah, my Kia broke down. So it was like a 2020 Nissan Altima. Um, and I was driving it. Matt came to visit and I showed it off to him. So we're going to go to McDonald's. As I'm leaving our ha- driveway and i'm like, just like we leave the street that our house is on i make a right and then you reach a four-way stop and so i'm about to make a left and i go and i see a cop car that's like flashing their lights at me and i'm just like yeah there's no way that's not me and then their cop like their the lights go on i'm just like oh fuck did i actually get pulled over so i pulled into the um 7-eleven the guy comes up to me. He's like, "Hey, do you know why I pulled you over?" And I'm like, "I don't." I'm like, you you ran that stop sign. And, um, and I'm just like, "Sir, this is a rental car." <laughs> yeah, when you said, "Sir, this is a rental car," were you hoping he just let you off? Yes. <laughs> Straight up, yes. Dang. I remember you calling me, you were, you were just like, so like, does this go on my record, blah, 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 but I can take traffic school, right? Like, you asked me about traffic school, like, ten times, legit ten times, because I think I told you before I got a ticket for speeding or something like that, and you were like, you got that off, right? <laughs> yeah, I was scared, because I was a rental car, so I didn't know if it went on my, their insurance or mine, whatever, because I've never gotten a ticket before, like, I was a, I was a clean driver. Yeah, well, we all get a ticket one time or another. Okay, well, 
you know you what? Wanna hear, you want to hear ahead. the crazy thing about that, though? Yep. So I tried to contest it. And then I did. And then I got something in the mail saying, um, the cop doesn't work there anymore, so he can't make it to the... To the uh, Court date. Yeah. And so the the police department is requesting a... What is it? Like, uh... They request it to, like, just call it off. Like... Oh, like, just, like, null it. Yeah, like, as it, like as if it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And so nothing happened. I, I didn't have to pay. And I don't have a ticket. Like, I just got off. Dude, you got so lucky. Yeah. And so I remember in that time before that, I was like, guys, I'm such a shitty driver. <laughs> like, I shouldn't drive. And then after, I, I got that, you know... Thing taken yeah. care of, yeah. And I'm just like, fuck you guys. I'm the best. Who who has who can't drive now or whatever? So, you know, what have, <laughs> would have been hella funny is immediately after that you get pulled over again. <laughs> um, there was another time I thought I, I thought I did get pulled over because I did drive like 90. Past Holy the cop. crap, dude! I remember I got I, I got so sad because I was driving back home from Santa Cruz to SoCal, NorCal to SoCal. And I pulled over and I called a bunch of people and I was like, hey, can can a cop car, like, can a cop give you a ticket if they don't pull you over? And I remember I was freaking out for the last three hours of the car ride. <laughs> the three hours all the way down, you're like, I think I got a Halfway, ticket. Yeah. I think yeah. I got a ticket. Yeah, it was my brother's car, too. Was this on the interstate? Mm-hmm. Oh. Usually, so, the, usually they're pretty lenient on the interstate. Yeah, this was on the five. And I hated it. Shit. Yeah, I know. Like, my first ticket was going 85, 87, and a 65. I was, like, so scared. I was sitting there. The cop pulled up. He was, he just looked at me. And, you know, I look really young, right? Like, for, for my age, I look really young. I'm only 23, but I am look like I'm 16. So, like, I literally was just sitting there, and the cop looked at me. He was like, how old are you? And I was like, oh. I'm 19 officer. He was like, is this your car? <laughs> and like, I, it, for some reason, I brain farted. I was just like, oh, uh, no. And he was like, where'd you get this car then? My mom. And he was like, okay, just chill here. I'm going to get get you a ticket. And then he like, he asked me, I was like, uh, and he literally asked me, I was like, do you know why I pulled you over? I was like, yes, I was going 85 into 65. For everyone out there, don't ever do that. You never admit fault. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I literally just admitted to him. It was just... <laughs> Honestly, I shouldn't even be driving. There's so many moments that I got so lucky. Like, I hit a biker. I... You hit a biker? <laughs> I... Um, Wait, what? Look, I si- I is that the one the with the van? Yeah, this is like a couple... A couple of years ago, I was in LA. I was driving my mom's van or my dad's van, and I was like, I was at a stop sign, getting into the bigger like road from like a from a neighborhood. I look both ways, and I'm like pulling out slowly, and then a biker just hits the side of my car. <laughs> well, and that's I think, a, that's not you back, hitting the yeah, car. I think looking then. back, he hit me, but in my head, I thought I like hit him. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this one. This is the one where your dad saw the dent and was like, "What is this?" Yeah, he saw the dent like a couple months later. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. Well, I think that can wrap up the first. We're at thirty-eight minutes in. We can continue this car talk next time. So join next time for. Uh, yeah, you can join next time. How to drive. Oh, first learning how to drive. That'd be a good one. Anyways, yeah, this is a good first one. Um, We started off kind of rocky. Yeah. <laughs> then we had that minute of laughing spurt for some reason. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> still so funny to me. <laughs> yeah, he said, um, do you speak Mando or Kanto? Me? Yeah. I speak, Um, I can understand both kind of. Um, so the guy was saying something in League where it's like, um, <laughs> I think he said like, I'm about to get ganked uh-huh. in one of the, in one of the two. 
Um, and then he's like, oh shit. And I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, because his mic was on. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, we'll continue some more stories next time. Just join us again next time. We'll try to do once every week or something like that. Yes. Still figuring out a schedule, but at least, you know, we get one out there. Yeah. Thanks for joining me, Steven. Yeah, I'll see you again, probably. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. All right, guys. Take care. Very sure we good? Yeah, we're good. Oh, God, dude. Dude, but not... <laughs> Oh. Uh